number 236 of 365. This is called Sometimes We Get so, so, Sometimes We Get Caught Up uh, I'll fix this. Sometimes We Get Caught Up in the Fear Instead of the Experience. I started five. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. I hope that you're doing well, and I hope that wherever you are is doing good for you. It's me, it's Paul Carpenter. This is number 236 of 365. And this one's called, Sometimes We Get Caught Up in the Fear Instead of the Experience. And it goes something like this. Do you remember when you were a kid, and you went to go ride a roller coaster? It's the first time you've ever been on a roller coaster. And you were like, ah, 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 and you were all scared and freaked out. It was like this thing, and it makes all this noise, and, and it has all these, all these moments that you're like completely out of control. And you're like, what is going on with my life? I don't want to be put in a situation where I'm strapped down and I have no way to get out and it's going to push me through this experience and I'm going to... <laughs> All the stuff is going to happen. I don't want that. And so you fear it. You fear the experience of it. And you're like, uh -uh. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And years go by and years go by and years go by. And then finally, somebody challenges you, somebody bets you, somebody does something. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'll challenge my fear. And then you go, and you get in, you strap down, you start sweating, you start freaking out inside your mind. And it's like... Uh, the kids are in the thing in the booth and like, doot, doot, and the other guy's doot, doot, and he goes, all clear, all clear, and all of a sudden it's like, and you're flying at 90 miles an hour, you're doing a loop-de-loop, -loop. you're doing turns, and you're flipping around, and you're screaming, and you're going crazy, and all of a sudden it goes, I can't believe really I did that thing. Let's go again. That's life. That whole thing that we just went through is an analogy for life in and of itself. I mean, how many times has that happened to you in your life? How many times has the experience been amazing? But for years, we're like, I don't know, I'm not sure, I don't want it, I don't want it. Instead of just going for the experience. I mean, if you think about it, in the situation of, like, say, a roller coaster, it's been designed to pretty much not break down, and it's been designed to scare you. So, hello, that's life. It's been designed to pretty much not break down, and it's been designed to scare you. To see where your fear will close the doors in your life. How many times when you were younger did you not care? You know, I don't give a shit, I'll do this. I'll run over here, I'll jump off of that, I'll and it wasn't until you broke your leg and it took six months or whatever to fix it, that you're like, huh, I don't know, uh, uh, maybe we shouldn't do that thing because, uh, you know, maybe we'll get fucked up. Fear, instead of the experience. And it's those that overcome the fear, those that overcome those challenges of the mind, that actually supersede that. That you look at them and you go, how the fuck does he do that? It's all in the head. Because it's not real. None of this is real. At the end of this whole entire thing, some kind of weird helmet's going to get taken off. We're going to come out of some gooky gook shit or something. You're going to look at everybody and you're going to see all your friends. You're going to be like, yo, what the fuck was that? That was the craziest experience ever. And the guy's going to go, you want to ride again? You're like, fuck yeah, push the button. I'm out. <laughs> and you start all over again. And it's really the beauty 
of having this experience that allows us to create a larger, like, Akashic records, right? So the more that we experience, the more that we create, the larger the hologram, the square kind of looking hologram with each one of the pieces being a piece of our soul, uh -huh. get it? And then all of that is like inside of a thing, right? And then what we do as a whole, because we're like at this place of intelligence, maybe this conscious level of like thought weird thing that we've all come together and we're like this kind of weird thing, right? And then we go, hey, since we're in this like, and we can't do anything, we're like this perfect version of vibration that's creating this perfect energy source of thought and so when you're in this place there is no thinking there is no speaking there's no nothing so we say to ourselves because we're super smart at this place in this weird place of this energy space thought consciousness thing we say hey let's make another space for other of us's that are inside this thing to go to and they live and then they build things and they live experiences and they cry and they and they eat food and they make new products and they do all this stuff and then when they die they bring it back to this thing and it goes and it gets bigger and the akashic records the the uh the library of alexandria in the sky is getting bigger and bigger whoa get some today and so that is like and if you're living inside of the thing that the other people are supporting think about this think about it it's really intense but but think about it you you're getting supported because everything depends on something else to live and survive that's why we're in this thing it's a lesson plan you come here to learn shit you come here to experience, you come here to eat, you come here to share, love, give, and grow. And if you're not sharing, loving, giving, and growing, you're screwing up the process, bro. And guess what? It's also cool if you don't want to do anything. It's also cool if you want to be like, fuck everybody, because we need that guy. Because if we had everybody going, kumbaya, motherfucker, then we'd be right back at the cube. And that's not why we're here. So there has to be the guy who's like, fuck you, I don't like you, I want to be Discordian and tell everybody to go fuck themselves. You have to have that guy. And you also have to have the guy that's like, yo man, peace, love, bro. And you have to have all the people in between. Because it's like 50,000 shades of gray, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so with all of that knowledge and thoughts and in your mind for the day, please go out of the world and do something nice for somebody else. And if you can't do something nice for yourself, it does start with you. Like if you're hangry, eat a Snickers. I'm not sponsored by Snickers, but hey, Snickers. And number two, <laughs> don't get caught up in all the crazy shit that's going on in this world. Because then you'll just be like angry at the crazy shit that's going on in this world. You'll be like blaming all these people and blaming that person and blaming, oh God, everybody. You'll be blaming everybody. You'll just be a blaming machine and that's no fun. And number three, if you could do me a favor today, would be nice. Please like, share, and subscribe. Just push the share button. What's the issue? You watch the videos, some of you, so if you're watching it, share it. That's all I'm saying. You've reached the end of the video, so I have to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. And also, if you would not mind, at the count of three, we take a little deep breath. <sighs> Breathe in the good. Push out the bad and be the best that you can be. And do that, and I promise you, my friends, I will see you all on the other side.